another edition of Probier TV. I'm on the road now. I'm in Brussels or close to Brussels and I'm with Ode Beersel and with me is uh, owner and brewmaster Gerd. Um, Gerd, who uh, of our viewers hasn't heard about um, Old Beersel? Can you introduce you uh, can you introduce our viewers to, to your brewery? Um, what kind of beers do you do and how long you're existing? Yes. Hi. Um, so Old Beersel is an old Lambic brewery from 1882. And the brewery actually closed down at the end of 2002, but I revived the brewery in 2005 with the aim of safeguarding traditional Lambic beers. So we focused on Lambic beers. Lambic beers are beers from spontaneous fermentation, known from this area around Brussels and Brussels itself. And uh, there are only 12 producers left there. As before we had hundreds of producers. Our beer still is one of these, and uh, we make a goose. Traditional goes. A goes is a blend of uh, lambic, and lambic is the beer that ferments spontaneously, goes onto the wooden barrels, ages on the wooden barrels, and we do blends of different years of lambic, referment some bottle, and that's called an old goes. Old stands for the old way of producing it because it's a traditional way and it's protected on European level. We also have an old creek. Old Creek uh, is lambic of six months old, on which we add cherries, a lot of cherries. We use up to 40% of cherries on our beer. And um, these cherries, they stay during six months on the lambic, ferment with the pit and the skin on the lambic, and then afterwards we filter out the pit and the skin, and then we blend in some more lambic, referment some bottle, and that's an Old Creek. Um, would you agree when, when I, during the last days I got introduced to Belgian beer styles and I discovered very new aspects of it? And would you agree that the real art on Creek and Goose and uh, Lambic is not so much the brewing process itself, but it's the treatment of the beers afterwards? So aging it in barrels, blending it. So this is the real art behind this beer style. I would say it's everything. The brewing process is quite uh, different from uh, regular brewing processes. Even the ingredients are quite different because we use up to 40% of unmalted wheat and we use old hops. Okay. We use a cool ship uh, during the brewing process to cool down the beer and uh, uh, for the spontaneous inoculation of the beer. But then afterwards, I mean, the beer normally, when you make a regular beer, after uh, the brewing process, it takes up to two weeks and then your beer is done. Whereas here it takes, up to, it takes years, many years. So the whole process that is coming afterwards is very important. We ferment spontaneously. There's one year of fermentation on the wooden barrels. Uh, so there are four phases, but it takes up to one year. And all the sugars are fermented. Almost all the sugars are fermented by the Brettanomyces, the wild yeast. They are able to, to, to ferment complex sugar chains. And then afterwards we use lambic of one, two, three years old to blend. But the aging of the lambic is very important. We have to make sure that our beer is very, uh, has a very nice character, very drinkable. And blending these beers together, re-fermented on bottle, that makes uh, a wonderful beer. Um, we're quite honored in Austria that uh, you have an import in Austria, so uh -huh. we can taste your beers in Austria. Which one of the beers you export to Austria would you recommend as a star to discover old beer sale? Well, I think that people should start to drink uh, now the Goes of our beer. Okay. So it's a very, very typical, very traditional beer from here. And if they have the occasion to try that, I mean, they definitely have to. The only thing is, when they try such a beer, they should not think about beer. They should think about wine, about champagne, about traditional cider, because the Oude Goes doesn't have anything in common with the flavor profile of a regular beer. Yeah. So, if you ever have the chance, uh, and there is an important Austria, a Baco, um, grab a bottle of our beer set and dive into uh, the Belgian beer uh, heritage and get your start with probably all beer set. Pierre, thank you very much Enjoy. for having me. And Thank you. We're going to drink some beer now in the tasting room. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.